public burst into laughter over Sussex's $25,000 donating vow, but will it from their personal coffers? The Duke and Duchess of Sussex were so impressed with Harlem E. Terry Melba's during their New York trip that they vowed to donate $25,000 pounds) to help with the hospitality challenges caused by COVID-19. Prince Harry and Meghan Markle dined at the famous Harlem E. Terry Melba's during their public visit to New York and were so impressed that they decided to donate $25,000 pounds). The ex-royal couple dined on soul food dish chicken and waffles in a first for the Queen's grandson. After the visit was over, the ecstatic restaurant announced on Twitter that Prince Harry and Meghan Markle had promised to donate $25,000 to show support for the restaurant during COVID-19 hospitality challenges. The restaurant posted to Twitter stating, It was such an honor to welcome Prince Harry and Meghan, the Duke and Duchess of Sussex to Melba's. The team and I are so thankful for their visit and commitment to donating $25,000 and hope to welcome them back soon. A diner who was eating at the restaurant during the couple's appearance said they enjoyed southern fried chicken, waffles, spring rolls, catfish, yams and collard greens. The lucky diner said, Harry said it was the first time he'd ever tried chicken and waffles and remarked it was delicious. They also claimed that Harry said collard greens were a family favorite due to Meghan's mother, Doria Ragland, making the dish for the couple. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex's appearance at the restaurant was reportedly enough to make the customers choke on their chicken. The New York Post reported. Melba Wilson, the owner of the restaurant, told the Post that the couple were so kind. Wilson added, they're shedding a light in our community of Harlem during a tough time. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex are currently in New York City, marking their first public appearance since the birth of their daughter Lilibet Diana Mountbatten-Windsor in June. The couple's visit to New York, which is their first visit to the city together, includes speaking at the Global Citizen Live event in Central Park on Saturday. Meghan Markle and Prince Harry visited the One World Trade Center in New York, and were joined by New York Mayor Bill de Blasio, his wife and writer Shirley McRae and their son Dante de Blasio. Kathy Hochul, governor of New York State, also joined the group at the Skyscrapers Observatory. While members of the press waited for the Duke and Duchess of Sussex, a protest broke out outside the One World Observatory. The protests saw the group appealing to the mayor over debt forgiveness, as according to the group NYC taxi drivers have been financially ruined by unpayable medallion debt as a direct result of city policy. The protest, held by New York Taxi Workers Alliance, NITWA, tweeted from their location outside the observatory claiming the real news is happening outside, while press was awaiting the appearance of the couple. The protest saw representatives from the 25,000-member Strong Union of New York City's professional drivers appealing to Mayor Bill de Blasio, as taxi drivers in the region are struggling under a lifetime of unpayable debt as a direct result of city policy. They claim the NYC mayor wants to bail out the bankers who own the debt and abandon the drivers to lifelong poverty, but the alliance demands different action. The mayor's plans allow banks to charge sums up to $2,000 a month for medallion mortgages, which Neetwa claims is well beyond what almost all drivers can afford. The union is calling for no more banker bailouts, and instead are seeking real relief for drivers. The protesters claim that this means the city is giving away millions in taxpayer money to these banks but that NYC taxi drivers don't benefit and are getting nothing in return. At 1.01 p.m., they tweeted a video of protesters holding placards amid shouts of fix the taxi crisis. They said, happening now. While at Nightmare wines and dines with hashtag Meghan and Harry and at Gov Kathy Hochul, we want to know why he won't help cab drivers? Fix our crisis, Mr. Mayor. They also shared a series of images showing signs held by the protesters reading debt forgiveness now. Let drivers live and respect the drivers among other messages relating to their cause.